What's up, fellas? Welcome to another video. Today, I wanted to do one of those uh, what I'm wearing and why I'm wearing it type of videos. Also, I wanted to get into the subject of how to layer because that is a question I do get a lot on the website. So I wanted to answer that here and give you more of a visual example uh, and pair that with you know what I'm wearing today just to hopefully kind of give you an idea of like what I think through as I'm getting ready for the day. So first off, before anything, I think of a few things before I'm getting dressed in the morning. One, I check the weather. What is the weather gonna be like? Is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna be hot? Is it gonna be raining, snowing? Whatever the weather might be, I take that into account because I have to travel to wherever I'm going. Two, I think about the venue I'm going to and or the uh, kind of the event or the people that I'm gonna be around. So for example, today uh, is a day in the studio. I'm just hanging out here filming this video and I'm doing some editing and doing some emails and stuff. I don't have to dress like, you know, really polished or anything. So this would be like an example of like a really casual outfit that I would wear on a normal day. If I were going somewhere important, either, you know, as my main event to, uh, for this day, or if I'm gonna go somewhere important afterwards, I would have taken that into consideration and I would have probably either brought something with me or dressed up a little bit more, uh, assuming that it's like a, a nice thing that I have to go to afterwards. But I don't, I'm only here today just working and then going home. So this is what I chose to wear. In terms of weather, uh, today it is about 44, 45 degrees and it's raining. Uh, so again, I take weather a lot into consideration. So um, because it is cold, because it is raining, I wanted to wear something that would uh, help me get through those elements. Uh, so for one, let me just start uh, with my pants because as I'm getting dressed in the morning and as I'm thinking of an outfit, I always start with pants, pants out, as John Mayer would say. What I propose tonight, follow me over here, is that we dress pants out. I'm saying we pick our pants first and we pick our pants wisely. I start with these uh, dark, it's like a pair of dark, medium to dark wash denim. I think these are from L.L. Bean. Uh, super easy to wear, pairs with pretty much anything. Again, standard menswear neutral color. As I like to say, menswear neutrals are the best colors because they go with uh, each other as well as uh, any other color that you can think of or pair it with. And I have a video about that and I will uh, link to it up here if you wanna check that out. Next up is uh, the standard gray uh, t-shirt that I'm wearing underneath this shawl collar pullover sweater. Uh, typically I actually wear a, um, like a chambray shirt or like an OCBD, some sort of button down shirt underneath a sweater like this. But like I said today, I was thinking about what I'm gonna be doing and uh, I'm gonna be sitting at a desk all day. So I want it to be somewhat more comfortable and having a knit T-shirt under a knit sweater is just more comfortable because I can stretch and move around and I don't feel super restricted like I might with a woven shirt. So I went with a T-shirt under this sweater. The sweater itself is like a standard marled uh, shawl neck, sort of like dark gray sweater. Resembles sort of a V-neck, so I have you know room to move and you know, shawl collar is just comfortable. Now overall, it is kind of boring to be honest like it's a simple sweater and jeans and so like I like to add a little bit more interest and also I want it to be a little bit. Uh, more warm because I wasn't sure how cold it is going to feel outside. So what I did was I actually grabbed my army green uh, quilted vest and I wore this over it and I think this adds a nice like mid layer and I think it just looks pretty good. I think it does add like a little bit more interest. It's not just a sweater and a t-shirt. So if you're looking to layer, I think a good mid layer piece like a vest um, is perfect for these kinds of things. A sweater is obviously also a mid layer. Uh, because if, you know, in a standard outfit, you might wear uh, just a jacket over it. And so the sweater would be considered the mid layer. But, you know, in this case, I wanted to have two separate layers just in case it's cold out. And if it gets too hot, I can always peel one of these off, which is what I did when I got here. So there you go. And so finally for the outerwear piece, uh, I went with my gray peacoat. Now I had a few options here, um, but I wanted to go with the gray peacoat one because uh, again, I wasn't sure how cold it was gonna be outside. Uh, and this provides a ton of insulation and is very warm. Secondly, from a visual perspective and like a styling perspective, I really like the collar on these peacoats. Like you can see how just very like voluminous it is. It's very big. And I, I like to wear it with, um, I have multiple collars here, which I don't mind. I think it actually looks really cool and kind of adds like a cool layering effect. Uh, the final piece were these uh, Koyo Chelsea boots. Now I like these for this weather specifically because um, it is like sort of wet outside and I wanted the, uh, the traction of the lug sole on these things. Also, these are really light and I put a, uh, a spray protectant on this suede. So uh, I don't have to worry about like any raindrops or anything uh, messing up the suede itself. So we're good to go there. Uh, I did put on my wool socks from a brand called Chup, Chup, I'm not really sure how to pronounce them, uh, but they're super comfortable. And you'll notice like it's the only like actual bright or vibrant color that I have in my outfit. 
I thought, well, you know, it didn't really matter. I thought it looked cool, uh, and no one's really looking at my socks anyway, um, so it doesn't really matter what color I choose, but even if someone did happen to walk into the office and I'm wearing just my socks for some reason, uh, it's totally fine, because it actually looks really great with the rest of the outfit anyway. All right, so and this is the entire outfit together. This is exactly what I wore to come into the studio today to work. So again, the peacoat is the outermost layer. It's very heavy and it's very warm, insulating. And then from there, I have this layer, which again is the uh, the quilted vest. Perfect, perfect layer. Actually, I really like the quilted vest, especially um, in these weird transitional months because right now it's March as I film this. And it's, uh, it's I call it a transitional weather month because um, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot. And the quilted vest is perfect for that because it does keep you really warm and insulated, but it's also really lightweight. It's easy to take off and it goes with a lot of stuff. So if you don't have a quilted vest yet, uh, I suggest you get one. I believe I do have a video for that. And if I do, I will link to it up here in the card. And then again, as I take this off, uh, this is like my first mid layer, or really it's like my main piece because I don't really go around just with a t-shirt. Also, let me talk about this hat that I chose to wear. So why am I wearing a baseball cap? Because one, it's raining outside, and two, I didn't want to do my hair today. Uh, so I decided to throw on this cap. Um, it's essentially a wool cap uh, from J. Crew. It's pretty old. Uh, but I've had it for a while and it's like a wool, uh, a gray, like a light gray wool uh, bill. And then this is like a camel color. Again, as far as like color goes, it matches with everything because these are men's wear neutral colors and men's wear neutral colors always go well with each other. So hopefully that helps. I'm a little bit out of breath because I'm doing this video all in one take. And uh, hopefully this helps and hopefully you can kind of see how I, you know, think through an outfit uh, and how I put the outfit together and how I put the layers together so it all works. Uh, as one cohesive looking outfit that looks pretty decent. Uh, so a few things just to sort of like, I guess summarize everything. One, before you even get dressed in the morning, you wanna make sure that you think about two or three things. One, the weather, obviously you wanna know if it's gonna be raining or if it's really hot out, if it's really cold, if it's snowing, you wanna think about those things because that's gonna determine what you're gonna wear. Uh, two, you wanna think about where you're going and maybe who's gonna be there or like what you will be doing. So if it's like a fancy dinner, you're obviously not gonna wear an outfit like this because this isn't very fancy, this is pretty casual. Uh, so um, if you are just going to the office like me and you work alone in a studio by yourself and no one sees you, uh, then you can kind of wear whatever you want. Uh, and this is what I choose to wear. This is what I wear on a normal day anyway. If I'm just like going out, running errands, um, you know, grabbing stuff at the store or whatever, this is typically what I would wear. So uh, just to give you an idea, uh, this is exactly what I think through when I'm putting together an outfit in the morning. Um, and whether it's summer or winter, this is the exact same process I go through. Hopefully that helped. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, if you did like this video, um, obviously like and subscribe to the channel, but also let me know um, if you're interested in seeing more variations of this video and I can do more of these to kind of show you the different kind of outfits I wear and uh, how I think through the process of putting them together. All right, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.